is window sign will install window version of your anaka so the world's most popular open source python and here we just have so many features like right so it will take time just next to and just have so many <clears throat> portals like uh, uh, so many prompts are there we, we are not doing all these all the uh, means uh, all these platforms but only jupyter as well so we will be using the upcoming days in our projects but not as of now. <laughs> so once we will click on the uh, so it will be open in in a new uh, is new tab so it it come to the browser you can see this is my browser where i was working browser i am having this uh, an extra uh component this tab which is putting so in the so uh, is ide the basis of ide i'll have New Jupyter, new uh, file. I can open Python file IP. So, <clears throat> so suppose I will write. So I will print. Hello. With more shells than right now I'm using pandas as right? so this is panda fabric very much important for the science digestion right so <coughs> Suppose I'm having so PT is just synonyms for this pandas. If you I won't write like some more pandas, so everywhere I will have to write pandas dot so as of now for this. Yes, can so everywhere we I will have to write as dot c as of now. Pandas dot c and <coughs> then x d right then would be the column d. So this is you can see the A B C are the index numbers. One, two, three are my values, and name is name of my column is column one. And by default, it is taking either 64, right? So <coughs> suppose I'm going to get one more, right? So this will have like suppose one two four <coughs> then five a b c so corresponding five index value index name should be this right like this is a and this is this is, this is <coughs> like this. or any column right so doing error why can you guess the length of values file does not can you guess so oh. 
Yes. Yes. So suppose I I'll remove this this value, so it will run successfully, right? So yes. So it will run successfully. Yes. Just put s. Run this command. So by default, it is giving zero, one, two, four x value and corresponding is a number. But if I want to keep not the uh, conventional index number 0, 1, 2, 4. So in that case, I'll take x equal to L for the more. <coughs> so, would you write the skeleton of this? Go ahead. <coughs> oh, oh. <coughs> now, suppose I am having frame. So I'll I'll show what's the difference between this and the data. This was the part of this. Explain. Now I am going. data is the first one. Then. Two code then right. <clears throat> then X <coughs> let's see right. then let's see F is it. E dot square this round bracket. Now, data is the first value, the first variable that I have data. Then <coughs> index equal to index. What is index here? It is defined in second line. X, right and then i'm having columns so l comes equal to one second column third column is Then I'm see that column one and column two and ABC respect. So one, four, two, five. So one, four is the first row, five is the second row, three, six is the third. This data frame is 
dimensional data set right but this is this series is series like which means it is having one dimension the set okay so what will happen will have uh, suppose comma and then write both comma save end <laughs> right yeah. values argument six multiple values of event i put side the square bracket event as i did in the of name double square bracket it will in the error the length of values does not matter right but see the problem is i have given more than one <coughs> more than one uh, pairing of the values not accepted in the series it is only one one series. i just respective index number respective column and data type by default it is in the 16 suppose i am having 1.5 here 4.7 here and 0.8 and 3.5 4.6 so in this case how many columns are there <coughs> i am like let's say 7.8 comma 9.4 right so how many columns are there as of now four oh column four how many rows columns are four so initial in uh, previously previously i had one four two five six so along with this i was getting this output df right so one four so how many columns are there as of now <clears throat> column one column so columns column one column two these are the columns vertical one no these are rows abc are the rows right these are the observation sub these are the values right but columns are something different now how many columns are there in this we just increase because many columns are there at two many rows are there right Oh. Yes, for data frame and 
including all these if data and breaks to everything find here right so do you have any data is now i am going to one more Okay, so can we see the five eight? Right? How many columns is it? Oh. So this is kind of deep. Suppose and I want to create if let's see one yes It's just printing the entire value A B C D, but keeping the condition. We skip condition. So wherever the column one will have greater than two value, it will skip that row and print rest of the value. <coughs> right. So this is called data wrangling. So what is data wrangling? So for particular condition, if I want to read, see, so suppose I want to see, so it will have this one. If DF column one, suppose I want to have in, in, from the column two, I want to have the values greater than five. It will skip first two rows and remain like uh, yes, first first row. And because this is lower than five and remain B C D because column two is having the value which is in five. Suppose I am having greater than five point six or five point seven. So it will now it says keep first two rows and remaining last two rows. Can you see that? All right. Now value. Then square bracket. Write the data frame. I'm having column. Can you see the sending values? Like uh, first first column one is false. So false means column one is in the descending order. Can you see column one value are in the descending order? Can do the uh, original yeah. so original VS is like one point five two eight point five. All right. So I'm going to it in the descending order so by putting false here in or with corresponding to column one i am having decreasing value of and can you see a also so these are five eight six okay let's come back to the column three column false let's Can you see column one is again seven three, but this is not in the changing order. 
can you can you tell me what's the reason what is the expected uh, column 3 40 false Okay, okay. Because it's giving priority to column one. Alright. Suppose yes. So suppose I am giving for the first already thing order, but by putting this column one again, it's going in uh, the impact over here. So it will keep the first value. Now I am going to read first value and uh, right. So this should be descending order. Can you see this? Now my values are in the eight six five two are in the descending. Originally two five eight six random values are there in the rows, but according to column three, I am having. Now I am putting column three at the first position and column one at the second position. And <clears throat> this is keeping, let's say, false, right? So by putting column one false, it should be in the descent order. So it should be like seven point eight point five two point five. I'm going to run this code. Then no, no impact on the rows. Again three point five. So again eight six five two column three, but not no, not column one. Then being whatever written at the first plate will have more priority, high priority. Accordingly, because we cannot shift the the, for the respective index number for the row same. So now it is in the dilemma position, like which 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 uh, which row should be write first, right? So I cannot write uh, corresponding three point five. I cannot write. Uh, corresponding this 8, I cannot write 7.8. This 6, I cannot write 3.5. Along with 5, it is 2.5. That, that is correct. But can you see the values are not going to interchange accordingly? Right? Now, <coughs> suppose so this is called dot. Value <laughs> now value so df dot So this is duplicated false false having false value false value no duplicate. So I am going to copy this. So for This second value is now true. Second row is showing true because all the elements in the second row are matching. With the first row, yes. If even a single value is mismatched, which is having no. Suppose I am having employees' data. The employee is having name, father's name, email address, a contact number. If if second employee number is having different contact number, which means this is this data relevant to this another employee, not the same employee as A.
so so it, so it's not duplicated so what's my duplicated now suppose he and you both are he's i'm having i'm working in a in an it company right so if someone asked me to to enter uh, to uh, put my name and my father's name and my let's see contact number right and my address right so suppose and my my manager asked me to fill a google form or any fill any excel so every time i will fill and i forgot that i had already filled this value and after 100 100 employees i just fill this value again so I, I, if i'm filling this entry two times or three times i'll keep the value same because my name would be same every time my father's name would be every time the contact number my name. which means i am creating duplicate value inside the sheet so two employees cannot have the same data not even an address their address will be different <clears throat> if in the second times by mistake i put the another address which means the, it will be treated as a another employee this is the drawback of this duplicate value right by default i put my other contact number my wife's contact number so it will treat it as a another employee its name father's name address is same but contact number is different which means it is another not the same so it is just for just this keyword this function is belonging only for the value where all the parameters whether if there are 10 columns my a's how many research papers i'm having my degree all the tile co columns are same then only it will show duplicated <clears throat> right and suppose i'm unique value how to find new so for this dot <clears throat> column one dot then put it can you see that column one is having 1.5 1.5 two times 0.5 one times 7.8 one time so it's showing only three values right similarly i'll put column two for this unique value so it will gain three values but what will happen if i put column three okay. column three Two five eight. Okay, I <clears throat> for the column getting two unique numbers, right? How many unique employees? How many uh, how many candidates are coming from different cities uh, in my company? So so that I can arrange my cap. So I am having unique column three. Suppose I want to have transpose to versus column. <coughs> transpose row versus column, column versus column. Can you see that? All the rows are converted to column and column converted to rows. Right? So now in this case, I'll have different output. Right? In this case, I'll have to write P. We'll have P. Right? <coughs> no. So all the values are having C uh, means number. So it will show only P number. But my columns are now changed. My columns are not column one, column two, column three, but I will be represented as a A, B, C. Right? Suppose I will stop. You, you said that I don't need P column. This is irrelevant. Right? I don't want this, uh, the, the address of the employee. I need only the name and stop a column.
this. Right. So for the name. <clears throat> So this is but first values are representing the first values are representing the name. All the first values should have the right. So I'll see first we are just so this is employee data. All the first value converting name of the second name. I'm going to keep like of country and address for. Yes, because address is in the string now. Name, but there is a problem. Can you see the problem here? <coughs> What's the problem here? Gender is not correct, names are not correct. So by printing the value, we yes. on the contact Same for right. right. Oh, <coughs> I want to drop a column. Okay. <coughs> to if is if drop which column I want. 
drop from the column column one you want to drop this is one so x is equal to one means column entire column should be driven when I write x is equal to 0, so entire row will be right. Can you see that entire column is removed now from the view? No, there is no x is equal to. Then we will have three dimension data. So, three dimension data can you visualize this three dimension data? Like if for, if for the same kind of table I am having in the another. For the another like this this is table one for this that i'm table two so that is my three dimensional data right so how would you it like suppose dimension data right so three dimensional data in the xyz so can you see this data so uh, yes, I am going to take this this figure. So along with this, along with this, suppose you just keep single slice, right? So for single slice, I am having subcategory A, B, and respective integer number for two thousand fourteen. But I'll take more than two for Asia, Europe, USA, and for the sales category. So for along with the country along with the years and along with the subcategory so how many how many attributes are there along with the x axis along with the y axis along with the z axis now i am having q means three dimension data you get that or not So can you see this? If we'll have only the MQ1 computing only slice of this Q and this along with the product and sales. So I'll have two dimensional data which we are working as of now. But I will have along with the no, okay. You you are having your report card, right? So your report card is along with the subjects, along with the uh, uh, marks. You have marks in each subject, right? Like suppose port card <laughs> right in this report card can you see the subject can you see the subject and grade one grade two subject literature history geography <laughs> so this data is two dimensional so uh, this subject is the row how many subject these are rows how many grades these are columns we are fine with this but this is your report card only but your teacher your school teacher and class teacher is having report card of all 40 candidates inside the class right so she is maintaining three dimensional data but you are having only two dimensional each student is having two dimensional data but your class teacher is having three dimensional data right are you getting my point? Because same two dimension data will belong to the second student, same two dimension data will belong to the three third student, same two dimension data will belong to the one. Now your principal is maintaining four dimensional data. Why four dimensional data? Because there are more classes inside the school, right? This is about the single class. In which standard you are? Eight. For the class standard seven, there would be same data. For the standard six, there would be same data. So your principal is maintaining four dimensional data. So in that case, we will we for the three dimensional data, we will have a is like two, and for four dimensional data data, we can do the three also, right? Because index is going to start from zero, right? Now I am going to run this code again and print f again. And now printing the PDF again. Check all the columns are retrained. 
Now I and run this. You can see get a an error because column one can have cannot have. But instead, I'll write the name and can you see no error is there? Filter the num and my name rows are just deleted from the original data set. Now address contact number gender is right. Suppose you need you don't need history and geographic marks, right? So history and geographic copies are not checked yet. You want to print result for the rest of the subject as of now. So I'll remove <coughs> uh, respective columns using df dot drop, right? Right. <coughs> now connect. Multiple in right. if if yes. One, two, three, four. So, what's the first value? That is, oh, MF five and <coughs> second values. Second value is this by second context that imply I I like so any 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 doubt right so okay Suppose concatenation when we concat two co I mean, more than two I uh, suppose I were to concatenate this table with the previous table a b c this table right this is df and let's say this is f2 right two right how having same Format same dimension four cross four. Yes, and right. this is.
<coughs> okay, be a value return. So this it concreted with these things. Previously it was showing error because there was dimensional error. Right? But suppose I'll give three is concreted. So then can work upon this. So fill an A matlab no value, no value. Fill an A not an A. Okay? <clears throat> so it it's just filling nothing. If dot means it just it, it just uh, fill uh, Nothing inside the columns. No values are there inside the line. Suppose I'll write it's just empty. I just fill I just removed all the all the elements and fill any. Yes, so they are from the different if three and BF different right. Pandas is also having so fill any name dot fill any is fill any value will any the value with G it so Python it like this the so importing will any so replacing any value is so where okay oh my god nothing is there if someone is missing inside the table like any n any n means no values are remaining inside the table right so it will replace that value with with the with the zero so as of now we don't have any missing values suppose i didn't enter any value then i i miss the name i miss gender any employee miss the country contact number. So it will replace this fill, fill array. Right? Suppose some some employee missing their gender. So by and by filling fill and a and putting M, so their gender will be nailed by default. Right? So if if suppose I'm applying for driving lessons, right? So it is asking whether you are above age 18 years, above 18 years old. So he is saying, uh, so everyone is saying, someone is saying no, somebody is saying yes, 
so if someone is keep that question and not marking whether he is above the 18 years old or not so by default it will enable put yes it is assuming that he if he is applying for the driving license which means he is above 18 right now <clears throat> okay so he has this one <coughs> if he right now oh, I shall click if some right cumulative sum over column. I'm doing cumulative sum like first 1.5, 5.6 the same, but focus on the second row. Can you see the second row? 1.5, 1.5 is 3.0, 5.6, 5.6 is 11.0, respective first value addition as 4. Can you see now t value will add up all first three rows 1.5 1.5 plus 3.5 that is 6.5 5.6 plus 5.6 plus 6.6 is 17.5 2 plus 2 plus 6 is 10 so this third column will have cumulative addition from and um, starting from the very first row and D is the summation of all the rows. Right? So for that, simply we are having an SUN function along with the data set, data frame. <coughs> Suppose I need to find D over column. Obviously, have D if dot. Column 1 is having 1.5 plus 3.0 plus this one, right? So 1.5 plus 0 0.0 plus 6.5 plus oh, okay, 1.5. So these are 1.5, 3 5 as you. So 14.3 divided by 4 so 3.57 so 3.575 can you see 3.57 so 3.575 is the mean value of column 1 Now writing x is equal to one. Can you see it x by putting this x is equal to passing parameter is going to go wise average long the by five point right suppose i want aid wise average along with the subject for this okay i still i need to hit column cross the so put say column wise
So what? How how much deviated from value? Column one, I said. Column one is sum up of this column one. <laughs> column one is having fourteen average. Why do? Then one point eight seven six point <coughs> now Value from the column one point five two. One point. So one point. One. Density of one. So how many values are there? Values. Found. All these six values. Six. Out. 